In this video, you are going to learn how to create an exit intent pop-up inside of your ConvertKit account. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co. And before I dive into creating this form for you, please hit that subscribe and that bell icon so that it lets me know that you enjoy this type of content and it also helps other people like yourself find the channel as well. So hit that subscribe and that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, in case you don't know what an exit intent pop-up is, you no doubt have experienced it. You've been online for any length of time, you've searched for something, landed on a blog and left, you get that pop-up. It's the intention of the person that's on your website is actually leaving. So they land on your website, the, the mouse cursor starts to move away from the screen up to the X or down below or away from the browser window entirely, the pop-up happens. And let me know in the comments below if you're immediately thinking about this is, what happens on mobile? How does it work there? There's no mouse cursor. So this is the big caveat with ConvertKit forms is that they don't work on mobile. However, I do have a solution for you, ConvertBox. No affiliation to ConvertKit, but ConvertBox actually allows you to create exit intent pop-ups. And what they use, which in my opinion is probably the best estimation for an exit on a mobile device, is that they measure the scroll speed of someone as if they are reading it, right? So it's gonna be a more of a slow speed. And then if they speed up one way or the other, then that's when the pop-up happens. So if you have a large mobile audience, go ahead and check out ConvertBox. I have a link in the description below. Now let's dive into the app and I'll show you how to create an exit intent pop-up. I'm not a big fan of pop-ups. However, where I do think that they work great is on exit intent because you can grab somebody by knowing what their behavior is. I have on my website two exit intents. One is on the homepage. So if I scroll up, see? You get one question before you go, all right? So this is the lead magnet on my homepage that grabs somebody in their action. And I'm, I, I call it like it is. I know they're going, all right, let me grab them. So the other place I have this is on my client testimonials page. And same thing here, as someone exits, a pop-up happens. Want to know the key to their stories, right? So. For me, it's the behavior. I know exactly, I could call, the headline could call out what they're doing and grab their attention before I lose them. And to be honest with you, why not, right? Yeah, maybe they read a whole bunch of things on the page and they wanna know a little bit more. Instead of them bouncing around my website, let's grab them as they need to, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm not going to go diving into the copywriting I wanted to share that psychology bit with you, okay? So we go into landing pages and forms and we'll create a new form and it has to be a modal. And then right, I'm gonna choose this one and I change the name here to the naming convention. So I do exit modal and then let's just say lead magnet and then I give it where I'm locating it, right? So lead magnet homepage, right? So join the newsletter obviously is not the best of call to actions, um, but I would actually say something like, before you go, Right. So would like to give you the best secret on the way out, right? Or whatever, right? You could play with it. And then you would add in the email address. I like to always bring in the first name. Uh, you could sort this, I would suggest to, and then change subscribe um, to anything else. Don't put subscribe there. And then the key part of this is because it's very much the same way in building any other form on ConvertKit. However, you want to, I'm going to click save. You want to make sure you always do the save. 
When you go into the settings, you're going to click show this form to visitors when exit intent. We detect the visitor is about to leave the page. So when you click on this and click save and publish, all you would need to do is just copy this, put it onto the page that you would want. So in the case of this one, we would want it on the home page. Then when the next time somebody comes onto it, would then get that exit and pop exit pop up once they try to move away from your screen. And there you have it. Now, I don't like to combine forms together, as you can see. I like to know which ones are working, whether it's inline, whether it's a pop-up, whether it's an exit intent pop-up, so on and so forth. So that's why I do that little bit of naming convention up front for EM, so I know it's an exit modal window. And then I have this information moving forward. If it doesn't work, I could pull it down and it doesn't affect anything else, all right? So if this was helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, do so right now and click that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a new video drops. And when you treat your email list like humans, amazing transformations happen.